What is going on everyone? Today we are going to be doing a rather interesting video, or at least I think it's interesting anyway, and I don't think I've seen anyone do it before. We are going to be testing an NVIDIA graphics card on an AMD FreeSync monitor, and we will also do some comparison with an AMD card that will support the FreeSync feature of the monitor that's sitting behind me, the Pixio PX245C, which I just recently received for testing. It's a 1080p, 144 hertz monitor from Pixio. If you remember last year, I did a review on their PX277, which I really love. I still use that for all of my game testing at my secondary setup. So really like that display and I'm happy to see this new revamped display from Pixio. So we're gonna be using that for the testing. Right now in the rig behind me, I've got the GTX 1060 Founders Edition, which I just left at stock settings. And the CPU inside the system is the FX8370. So nothing really to sing home about as far as the PC is concerned. This is actually my girlfriend's system. Usually it runs a GTX 950, which is you know more than sufficient for checking email and playing some Team Fortress 2 and Solitaire, which is about all she basically does on it. So more than sufficient with the GTX 950. But I recently gave her the, the, the Pixio monitor. I set it up down here so she can try that out because it is 144 hertz. So I guess she could play Solitaire very, very smoothly now. And I wanted to see what would happen if we, since she's going to be using the GTX 950, what the difference would be. So I'm using the 1060 and the 570 as that's a bit of a closer matchup for this testing. And it'll help us be able to see some high frame rates as well as some low frame rates if I push some of the graphical settings in a game like Rainbow Six Siege. And we will uh, take a look at all of that because there are a couple of things to consider with FreeSync, obviously one advantage that you get is that it can help eliminate stutter when you drop below the monitor's native refresh rate because normally with VSync, if you had VSync on and you were using a 144 hertz screen or a 60 hertz screen for that matter, and you drop below that number, so if you're using a 144 hertz screen and you drop down to 100 FPS, what's gonna happen is that 144 is going to get cut in half instantly down to 72 frames. And if you were on a 60 hertz monitor, it would get cut down to 30. If you were on a 120 hertz monitor, it would get cut down to 60 and so on and so on. But with a FreeSync monitor or a G-Sync monitor for that matter, it keeps that completely smooth as a very smooth transition. So it helps get rid of that gigantic lag spike that could come along if your frame rate drops so it doesn't drop from 144 down to 72, which even if it, even if you're still getting 72 frames per second, that massive lag spike can be rather jarring. So that's where adaptive sync technology kind of comes in, like FreeSync and G-Sync. The other thing that it can help out with is screen tearing if you go over your monitor's native refresh rate. So in the case of 144 hertz, if you went over 144, you should see some visual tearing on the screen where it kind of looks like top of the image is over here and bottom image is on the other side of the screen. So yeah, that's basically some of the things that can happen when you're not using FreeSync or G-Sync. And if you are using a FreeSync display, you're not going to get the advantages of FreeSync. Just like if you were using an AMD card on an NVIDIA G-Sync display, you would not get those advantages because they're kind of proprietary within the company. Not necessarily FreeSync. FreeSync is open source. NVIDIA could choose to support it anytime that they wish, but they're just not choosing to do that because they've got their G-Sync technology. And if they get you hooked on to a high-end G-Sync display, then they're going to conceivably keep you locked in with their graphics cards and upgrading along with that as well. It's, they just try to bring you in to that ecosystem. So that, I think that's enough introduction and talking for now. Let's go into some testing and we will start with the GTX 1060 and then we will switch over to the Red Devil RX 570. All right, so loading into Rainbow Six Siege here with the game maxed out. This is one of my favorite games at the minute. I play it quite often, pretty much daily I play this game. So always a good one to test for me as I can usually tell if there's any difference in variance in the experience at all. And right now I am getting around 60 frames per second. It is coming down below 60, but it's coming down to 57 there. But mostly we are hovering around 60 FPS. And this is with a V-Sync off. And I do have the game pretty much maxed out except for I do have the MSA I think at two times let's go ahead and take a look in the graphics options here so let's go ahead and bump that up to eight times now and see what happens all right now our frame rate has come down considerably we are now down in the 30s I mean it is definitely not super smooth I mean we're not getting any massive lag spikes or anything the frame rate is fairly consistent and I would find it very difficult to, to play the game like this. Now, whether or not, you know, FreeSync is going to save that 
for you. If that's something that you're looking for, we will find out once we switch over to the GTX 570. But this is still, I guess, technically playable. I mean, I would want to lower options, but if you were on a lower powered system, you know, you, you definitely want to lower some options there. If this was really the best that you could get, then, you know, I guess you could put up with it. And a free sync display, you know, might help out with that a little bit. But yeah, still, if you're getting down into into the 30s and the 40s like this, you probably not be ideal for you. I know this is not ideal for me. I'm used to playing on a 1440p, 144Hz G-Sync screen, so this is definitely uh, far from that. And also using a GTX 1080 Ti in my uh, in my typical gaming setup. So right, this is definitely not what I'm used to. It it feels a lot slower and kind of harder to aim as well. Oh, look at that. I still got that terrorist even though I couldn't see a thing. Oh, I died anyway. But yeah, that's that's definitely tough to play um, down at a frame rate like that. Let's load back in and we'll switch the options off and see how it is with, uh, with a bit more variance maybe in the frame rate. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of HBO Plus. I'm going to knock down the multi-sample Anthios. I'm going to turn that off completely and we shall see what happens. So now we're getting up around 90 frames per second. Game still looks great and now it is it is buttery smooth. This now feels like I'm playing on a 144 hertz monitor. This feels actually very similar to playing on my G-Sync display even though I'm using a, a FreeSync monitor here. So this is still actually really friggin' smooth. Yeah, I would I would have no issues, you know, playing like this full time if I if I had to. I mean, obviously, if you're going to, you know, get a free sync display, you want to take advantage of that technology. But I, I wouldn't have any issues, you know, running this. If you were put into a situation where maybe you already had a free sync display and you were thinking about, you know, getting an NVIDIA graphics card for whatever reason, then I don't think you would really be missing out on too much. I mean, this is still absolutely fine here as long as you're running, you know, with VSync off. This is still very, very smooth. I mean, I, I doubt many people would really be able to spot much of a difference. I mean, we will switch over to the RX 570 and see if see what we can uh, notice there, if any difference at all. But yeah, this is still, like I said, really smooth, buttery smooth actually, and no issues at all with this. And I died once again there in the same exact room. All right, so before I switch over graphics card, I wanted to drop this down to low, so if we could see any other differences as far as ta uh, tearing is concerned, and this. Quick side note, this game actually still looks really good, even on low. All right, but you can see, because I have VSync off, I'm still c I'm coming up over 144 FPS here. That's over our monitor's native refresh rate. And I'm going to move the camera back here side to side. And actually, the, the tearing is still... I'm not really noticing any any tearing in the display at all. So this is actually quite good. This I mean, this monitor is holding up really well even though we're going over 144 FPS, so it seems to be really very very okay, <laughs> if you can really call it that. It's it's honestly still great with even playing it with an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm not really having any issues with this, whether it be with frame variance or going over the monitor's max refresh rate here with the GTX 1060. It's still, it feels, it feels excellent. I honestly can't tell a difference between, you know, playing this like right now or playing on an $800 G-Sync monitor. This is this is really really good. And yeah, this is a relatively affordable monitor. It's retailing right now on Amazon for $269 and this is this is quite exceptional that it's quite exceptional that it's handling the the tearing as well as it is even on an Nvidia GPU. I'm just this is kind of throwing a wrench in my in my plans here. I was expecting to, you know, load this up and have it be a, a, a screen tearing mess and stuttering all over the place, but that is just not the case. It is silky, silky smooth here, you know, even over 144. No tearing that I can see, honestly, on my screen. All right, so now we're on the AMD RX 570 and running around here on the map, and I do have the game pushed up to the max, but no anti-aliasing currently on. We're hovering around 90 to 100 frames per second, and it is absolutely silky smooth with the free sync on here. And also one thing I want to note for people that might be wondering why it says 16% GPU usage, I can assure you it is maxing out the GPU. That is just a recent bug that was introduced on the AMD drivers. I'm not sure if it's isolated to the 500 series, but on recent on the past couple of driver revisions, 
from AMD, it's been limiting to the, G the GPU usage, at least to what it's showing as 16%. So that's why you're seeing that there. If you go ahead and Google around, you can find out information on other people reporting the same exact thing. There we go. We just dropped down into the 60s. That's a pretty taxing room, actually. Look at that. Coming down into uh, the 60s there. Rather taxing, but still very, very smooth transition, as you would expect there with the free sync. Let's go ahead and ramp up the anti-aliasing now and see what happens if we come down well below 60 FPS. So four times MSA, that's what I was using earlier with the other GPU. And there we go. Now we are in the 40s. And I'm, I'm struggling to really feel much of a difference to 40 before. I mean, I do think that the... The input lag is, has been reduced significantly. I'm still finding it's still actually re actually yeah I can I can feel that definitely when I when I go aim around I can I can certainly feel the difference there. I was up around 60. Let's go to an area that's a little bit more a little bit more taxing. This is still actually running really well. There we go. Now we're down into the 40s. It's it's I can actually I can still feel the lag there in this area, which it's a bit this in this area that's a bit more taxing. We're seeing the frames coming down. You know, even more down into the 40s, I can, I can still, I can still feel that quite a bit. So, even with FreeSync on, there is a fair amount of, it feels like input lag. I guess. It, I mean, it's probably not actual lag. It's just really that the fact that I'm so used to playing at you know over 100 FPS and playing down in the 30s and 40s does not feel great to me. So even if I was playing on a FreeSync display with a FreeSync capable card like the RX 570, it's, it still doesn't feel good. You still wouldn't want that to happen. You want to have, you know, 60 FPS or more. It's not going to be a complete fix for, you know, for frame drops. It doesn't make, it doesn't make 40 FPS feel any smoother is what I'm trying to say. It just makes it, the transition can be smoother. But between, you know, this and just playing on the, on the NVIDIA card with V-Sync off, the, the difference is, is fairly minimal. It doesn't really seem to be a huge jump. So I think really what the takeaway there is, you know, if you have a 144 hertz display, you know, playing with VSync off is definitely going to be your best friend because more than likely you're not going to get a solid 144 frames per second, even at 1080p. You know, no matter what graphics card you're using, the likelihood you're going to get a solid 144 FPS in any game is rather unlikely. So I would advise most people to probably run vsync off in that case so yeah there you guys have it gaming with an nvidia card on a free sync display i honestly expected the results to be a lot more drastic than what we ended up here with but that is what it is you know i can't really you know color these results any more than what we what they are i wasn't really able to tell a drastic difference going between the NVIDIA card and the AMD card. I think you're probably going to see smoother transitions if you are someone that wants to run, you know, VSync on with FreeSync or G-Sync. But, you know, when you just run the VSync off, you're going to get a very smooth experience because you're not going to have to deal, you know, with the input lag of, of VSync or your frame rate getting cut in half because of huge lag spikes in whatever game you happen to be playing. So yeah, the, I think the, the takeaway here for me is just play with VSync off if you can. As long as you have a, I think a 144 hertz display, you probably should be doing pretty well. I think if you were playing on a 60 hertz screen, that, that would probably change a fair amount, especially if you're getting up around 140, 150 frames when you're coming that much higher above your monitor's native refresh rate. But on a 144 hertz screen here, it was really smooth all the way through, you know, playing down from 40 up to 144. I mean, even though 40 still feels like 40 FPS, as I was saying before, free sync or G sync is not going to change what 40 frames or 30 frames per second feels like. It doesn't automatically make that feel like 60 frames per second. It just can help with the transition and then you can still keep your frame rate locked at 144 or 60 or whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. But if you have it off, you could still get a pretty darn smooth experience out there. So I guess if you're already running a 144 hertz screen without FreeSync or G-Sync, you should be okay, um, you know, just running it off, you know, depending on what your graphics card is and all that. But yeah, I was actually really impressed with, um, you know, just how well it could play without even having FreeSync supported on the NVIDIA GPU here with the Pixio PX245C. So I guess it could also come down to just being a very good monitor. The, the the image quality on here looked great and the free sync worked very well so yeah no issues really um really in this testing that i thought were going to crop up i 
it's just, yeah, that's that's really a takeaway here is play V-Sync off, I guess, <laughs> if you can. If you can put up with it, you're not getting significant tearing in the games that you play, run V-Sync off, and I think you should uh, be all right. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. If you want uh, links to the Pixio monitor that I showed off here today or the Red Devil RX 570, I'll leave links down in the description below for you over to Amazon, which does support my channel and if you enjoyed this video and content like this please leave a like on it down below and subscribe if you're not already and if you have been subscribed for a while consider hitting the notification bell so you can find out whenever i upload new videos like this one you saw here today and i will catch you guys next time